day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. Today's video further expands on aviation weather products. We will be covering the graphical product surface analysis charts. Surface analysis charts are graphically enhanced depictions and interpretations of observed weather data to include information regarding sea level pressure, areas of high and low pressure, type and location of fronts, and any dividing boundaries such as dry lines. Surface analysis charts are issued every three hours beginning at 0000 Zulu. To access a current surface analysis chart, go to www.aviationweather.gov and under the Forecast tab, select Prog Charts and scroll down to the last map on the page labeled Surface Plot. This is the one that you'll want to use. Shown is a screenshot of a surface analysis chart that we will use as our example. View the valid time of the product just above the top right corner of the map shown. Adjusting the valid time to a later time period will show a short-term weather forecast rather than surface analysis chart. The time of issuance is listed just below the bottom right corner. Beginning with depiction of fronts and boundaries, we have a handy little key down here. Cold fronts are depicted as blue triangles along a line. Warm fronts are shown as red semicircles. Occluded fronts are purple alternating semicircles and triangles, not displayed on this map. Stationary fronts look like a warm and a cold front pushing against each other. Troughs of low pressure with existing significant weather phenomena are depicted by an orange dashed line. Outflow boundaries, also known as gust fronts, are typically formed from thunderstorms. They are depicted by an orange dashed line as well, and labeled O-U-T-B-N-D-Y. Other fronts and boundaries not shown include ridges of high pressure, rarely seen, these are depicted by yellow spikes. Dry lines separate moist air from dry air and are depicted by small orangish semicircles. And squall lines or lines of thunderstorms may be depicted by what looks like red morse code. The symbols on each front points in the direction which it is moving. Isobars, depicted as the thin gray bars meandering all across the map, depict areas of constant or stable pressure. Each isobar is labeled with its pressure in millibars. They're pretty faint on this site, but here are two examples reading 1024 millibars and 1020 millibars. The foreflight application depicts these in red, making them a bit easier to see. Each isobar is separated at an interval of 4 millibars. This means that the closer the isobars are to each other, the more rapid change in pressure one will encounter in that area. High and low pressure system centers are depicted by a blue H or a red L. The center of a high pressure system is typically the highest pressure in the system, and the low center is typically the lowest pressure as well. Each is labeled with its pressure in millibars and is underlined in darker font. Here, we have the center of a low pressure system at 1,020 millibars and the center of a high pressure system at 1,034. Lastly, hurricanes are depicted by what looks like a red hurricane. This concludes today's video over surface analysis charts. These charts aid greatly in anticipating changes in weather conditions in an area. I hope that this video has helped. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope that you might like it, subscribe to keep track of any new videos, share with somebody else who may find it helpful, or leave me some feedback in the comments section. Thanks again and safe flying.